Please excuse the mess. That is my classroom. It's been a really busy past two weeks. Um, but today's video, I'm just going to walk around the classroom and show you kind of what the classroom looks like and what we've been doing thus far around our new bug theme. We're two weeks in and starting our third week. So the past two weeks we've been learning about all about bugs and insects. I'm going to start off by showing you the math center in our classroom, which is right here in the back of the room. Some of the kids started this activity already this week. Um, the rest of the kids will do it. We did ladybug crafts where the kids painted their paper plates and then they rolled the dice. And here's what the dice looks like. I put it inside a little plastic container so it doesn't um, go all over the classroom, especially with the young kids. I recommend putting them in small containers. So they just like shake it up just like they normally would and then they have to see what number is on top, which is pretty easy to see from here. And then based on that, um, whatever number they got, for example, um, this kid got three, so they put three dots on this side and then they got four, so they put four dots on this side. And then they had to um, add together and make an equation, addition number sentence on top on the index cards, which shows their math problem, as you can see up here. So four plus three equals seven. So they decorated their ladybug, put their legs and the antennas and the eyes, etc. But so this was a way to include um, math and art combination together and writing practice for their numbers. So far we've done some graphing with these dice that you see here. They would roll the dice and then they would chart it on this graph. They loved that one. That was a fun activity. Um, it's more fun if you let them predict or choose what they think is going to win to begin with. So like for example if I think if they say for example this butterfly is going to win they would circle it and then when they're rolling the dice, they're kind of rooting for that butterfly to come. And then every time you're talking about how many butterflies, how many um, eggs on a leaf, which one is winning, which one has the most, which one has least, which two are equal. So you're getting those important math vocabulary words in there. This coming week on the table, I have set up here our patterning cards, which I just printed and laminated. Um, and these are pretty simple A, B, A, B patterns. They would have to find their match and then put them together. And then once they're finished, they would choose another card to work on. And all the cards are right here. To make it more challenging, there's um, different patterns. There's the A, B pattern, A, B, C pattern. And then um, you can also have the kids make their own patterns. Here we have some bug counting station, and down here I have some um, visual discrimination bug themed memory cards that the kids can play with. There are some snap cube center stuff that the kids can choose from. And then we have some bug and insect theme puzzles, and I love these because not only do they have the pictures of insects on them, they come with a variety of counting abilities. So some are counting by tens, some are counting um, by ones. This time I put them all together. So there's a different variety of skills there. And then last week we also did um, a Venn diagram using the hula hoops. We, cat uh, we compared caterpillars to butterflies and their similarities. Um, also, we've been doing an author study on Eric Carl. These are props that we use while we reenacted his one of his books, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Since we're learning about all about Eric Carl, we've been reading all of his books and we have some more of his books on this side of the classroom. We did some measuring using non-standard units of measure. We use these caterpillars as the non-standard units to measure books. We measure tables, pencils, um, and then we filled them out on a worksheet. So there was a paper that went along with it, which I don't have here because we just finished those. And then we had this sort that we did a week ago. Um, these are insects. These are not insects. 
and then the cards for them are in here. And then the last thing I have here is um, counting. These go all the way up to number 20. So they would count them and then they have to find the number that corresponds with their bug and color it in. This can be a little challenging, which is great um, for some of my kids that need to be challenged. We talked about um, we can cross them off using dry erase markers to keep track of which bug that we counted. So this is great. Um, we've also been doing a riddle every day during circle time. We finished riddle four last week. There's a little riddle on each of them. For example, this one says, this tiny insect might live in a crack in your sidewalk. If you drop crumbs during a picnic, it will carry them away. Which insect is inside? And then I have them guess, and then I will reveal the insect that's inside. And then once we reveal it, I have them read it with me. And then we'll point and read to read each word. It's an ant. So they really love those because they like being right and getting all the answers correct. And then we have some more riddles. I need to put more riddles in an envelope for this week. So that about covers the math center and what we've been doing in the math center with the bug theme. Here we have Mr. Benny. He's drinking some water. Mr. Benny is our class guinea pig and he's located in the Zen zone area, which has our social emotional focus area. So if the kids are having any kind of argument or any kind of issue, I like to, them to come here and then we have them sit on these cute little chairs together and then they talk about how to be a peacemaker. They have to get together, they have to talk about it, they take turns listening, uh, they come up with a plan and then they have to agree on that plan, they shake on it and then they put that plan into action. And I really like that having this um, visuals here. So we go by one by one and I'll ask them, did you do this? Did you do that? What was, what was your um, plan? Did you guys agree on it? Et cetera. Then here is my library center right here. That looks a little bit better. All right, so in our library center, I have this beautiful rug. We come and sit here for one of our circle times. This is my afternoon circle time rug where we have our kindness song. This is kind of like our classroom mantra because I really want my children to know how to be kind. That's like our main focus um, is character building. So we will sing this song. And then we do our calendar where we focus on learning about place values. We do this every day. And then there's our little kindness for today that we're going to do this one on Monday. Give someone a high five. This is from my friend at Kind Kindergarten. Then we did a little chart about which insect is your favorite insect. And here is our insect anchor chart, which is great for singing our song. All right, so this is the library center where we do all that good fun stuff. Next to the library center, I have the art center in the classroom. So we have our easel where the kids can paint anytime they want to. And then this week, one of our crafts, um, aside from doing the ladybug edition, we're going to be making butterflies using coffee filters and droppers with food coloring. And then once they're dried, they will add a craft stick, googly eyes, and antennas to make that look beautiful. And then next to that, we have our sensory bin. This last two weeks, we've had worms in here. Our worms lasted about two weeks and then some of them started to die. So I decided to empty that out, put sand in here. This week the kids are going to find the letters they need to spell words from the at word family. And then I want them to also trace it on the sand. Because this week we are learning about the sounds of the letters H and R. We're going to start with R. And that brings me to the writing center where you're going to see on the board that I like to put up the directions for 
the craft so the kids can learn to do this um, independently and they're getting really good at that. So step one is for them to write their name and trace the shape of the letter R. Step two is to rainbow write it. R is for rainbow. And then step three is to glue pieces of cotton at the end of the letter R. And that's all. Everything they need for that center is set up and ready here for them. So this is one thing they're going to do for the letter R. And then, of course, with the bug theme, we have some dry erase papers that I've laminated that have the bug words inside and then they can trace the beginning letters for each of these using dry erase markers which is always fun. Next to that I have the kids names on dry erase to practice for them to trace their own names. Here is the rest of the ladybug craft materials. Under that I have little ants and bottle caps. At the writing center this week they're going to also use the bottle caps to spell the at word family words. So for example, if we were to say hot instead, because I don't know where the A is right now. So they would put um, the letters that they need, H, O, T, hot, and then how many ants can you hide under the word hot? Ah, uh, I can hide three ants. And I just put the ants in there just to kind of find a way to tie it into the bug theme. Um, you don't really need those, but it just adds a little bit more fun in there. And then they have some more dry erase tracing practice in here, which is another bin where they do bug word matching so you know just to avoid using so many worksheets i like to take out some worksheets that i think would be fun for them to do and just put it inside these pl plastic sleeves and the kids do enjoy using the dry erase markers way more and then you don't have to print so many copies saves on paper and then they're totally reusable so there's those and then what else can i show you for the letter R, since they're going to be learning about the letter R, we have some letter R words that are set up here. Rooster, rats, rose. They can trace these again with the dry erase markers or they could just read them. They can kind of use it however they want to. And then there's a bunch of other, obviously, stuff that they can choose for the writing center. It doesn't have to be what I have um, laid out for them. And then for the rest of the week, I also have other R-related worksheets that they can choose from. Here's some S worksheets for them to practice writing the letter S from last week. And then towards Wednesday, I will have the letter H up here. They will do letter R and then letter H this week. And then last but not least, here we have our drama corner, which changes with every theme. Uh, since we have our bug theme this week, we have it changed to an entomology laboratory. And here they are observing and looking at insects. We have a lot of magnifying things where they can look and see the insects in good detail. And then hopefully this week we're waiting for our caterpillars to come in for our butterfly garden. And our ants are supposed to come in this week as well. So it's going to be even more fun to be here in the laboratory. And then we have a little cute little song that goes with the life cycle of a butterfly. Last week um, inside the laboratory I put out jars with water and um, the droppers and this was such a fun fun activity like this was super popular they all wanted to do it they mix the primary colors to make secondary colors and this was a blast and it's such a great um, fine water skills as they use the droppers so th this was the reason i decided to make the butterflies this week at the art center just to keep them going because they really enjoyed making uh, using the droppers with the food coloring so i thought i'd keep that going with this craft activity and then here is another chart we did we 
talked about, do you like insects? Yes, I like insects. No, I don't. And then the kids got to um, vote. And that about sums it up. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful. Please click like and subscribe. Till next time, happy teaching. Thank you.